Hello. Hope you're having a good morning. So, uh, got a request for Evangel versus Etsum Nar. So, the Oracle from Last Raven specifically, and then the Proto Exus. Um, we're going to add some Nars AC. So, there have been a couple slight alterations made to these. Uh, they're still pretty much the same thing. Again, these are just the usual countering the lack of OPI kind of stuff. So for the Oracle, uh, his grenade launcher has been replaced with the rockets. Um, he's gotten more ammo and firepower in exchange for the AOE blast. Uh, the A, well, the AI likes to spam these things, and generally their kind of cone of fire is just going to be close enough to kind of simulate a grenade launcher. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's a pretty valid replacement. Like for Jinobi, just one large rocket thing was enough to replace his grenade launcher in most fights. So just, you know, in general, they're going to be a pretty decent replacement. Uh, he still has his cannon. He's most of the time it's just a liability. Uh, he actually throws it away halfway through the fight. But, um, it, you know, it's part of his look. It's got to stay there. And it's light enough that it doesn't really impact much. Uh, he's... You know, I might as well show you. I, other than that, his parts are pretty much the same. Um compared to his uh, last Raven version, so he's still got the Queen, he's got the he got the uh, standard um, middle EO core, got the Lemur 2s, Dingo 2s, uh, still got his uh, uh, fleets here. All this is all the same. This is the only internal part that's different, because uh, essentially Formula Front has a couple parts where they're very, very slightly tweaked. So he normally has the Ananda, uh, this is basically the Ananda with better cooling and worse force cooling. Um, and this is mostly just due to the fact that he was overheating way too easily. Even with his uh, AI performance set all the way up for cooling, he I mean, looks a little bit like this. Uh, even with just cooling maxed out here, just Edson was absolutely tearing him a new one to the point where he couldn't even fight back a lot of times. So, uh, that very slight adjustment uh, was just enough to make it happen. You know what, I also just noticed... Comparing with the picture, it's a little bit unclear. In some pictures, it looks like his uh, his linear rifle is uh, black, and other ones, it looks like it's white. Kind of weird, but mm. you know, I think it actually just looks better with the black one. Oh well. Um, I want to say they just kind of bleached it a little bit for the model kit, by the looks of it. Uh, at any rate, uh, Etsum is pretty much the same. Uh, with uh, with that some everything pretty much worked as it needed to. Uh, the only change is the legs, uh, the legs that she would normally use, uh, the Cougar twos. Uh, instead, they replaced with the Cougar ones. This is mostly just due to the fact that the um, uh, the Cougar twos were already in use by the Fascinator, so they didn't quite make it. But either way, uh, was expecting more people <laughs> to ask for Zenaida than Proto, so. Either way, uh, it's here. Um, generally, I prefer the Cougar ones. I've heard that opinion going, you know, going back and forth and whatever else. But by and large, you know, they function the same way. These two seem to fight together pretty well. So let's see who wins it. As per usual, it's going to be the best three out of five with randomized maps. And um, well, that's about it. Uh, if any of them are close enough or the AI breaks enough. To the point where it seems like it's worth either a do-over or a tie, then you know we'll go for it at that point. Okay, so he's getting all hostile right off the bat. We've got Evangel's health on the top left. Uh, we've got Epsom Nars on the bottom right. And he's going crazy with that blade, and all it takes is one hit to pretty much decide the fight in his favor. But she's definitely got the DPS edge here. Oh, uh, the other small change. Uh, Man, even with all of that, with this, uh, at this close range, it still wasn't enough to overheat him for a little bit there. Um, so yeah, the other change is actually on the Proto Exus. Uh, she's been given a radar. Uh, she was having tracking issues, and uh, so yeah, she was just given a radar to help her out with that. So the first one goes to Etsum. That was pretty short and brutal right there. Definitely her... Um, uh, what would that even be? More her uh, kind of gimmick there. Uh, I really like the way her missile setup works. You know, before I always used to um, used to kind of dislike it, like the whole multi-stage missile thing. I've started really buying into that more lately. But uh, yeah, despite looking fragile, her AC is pretty friggin' brutal at times. Ready. 
go. Now this should be favoring a vandal a little bit. He's gonna spend some time in the air. Um, basically, I'm just leaving his stats up here to kind of show how his how his uh, numbers go. So as per usual, the AI likes to run its energy way down to the red. Like you, if you give them maxed out um, energy efficiency, they'll basically just go and run themselves down to like one to two percent, and then just keep recharging from there. So most times, I end up replacing them with a uh, generator that just has better output because they make no use of capacity whatsoever. Uh, unless they're using something like the Jirens, uh, but that would be a completely different story. Alright, so... At this point he's going in for his, uh, for his blade here. Uh, he actually has two stages for his blading ability here. Uh, he goes for regular blade around this point, but still stays pretty dodgy. And then at this point he gets rid of his back weapons, and then he goes in for uh, for another slash. Just kind of switches to be a bit faster at this point. By most times the fight's pretty well decided and just needs either a finisher or it needs a turnaround. And in this case he needs a blade turnaround. So I probably ran, I don't know, like 20-ish test matches between these guys. Uh, this is the closest he's ever gotten. He's winning so far. Very slight. Oh, okay. Actually, at some, he's almost out of ammunition here. Seems like her best bet is a win on technicality. Okay, okay. There we go. I think uh, I think Benjamin might actually get this one, unless she manages to pull out some crazy dodges here. But no, he's got another 23 rounds. Yeah, he's gonna win that one. All right, one to one. Good. Maybe we'll see another five rounder. And down we go to four to one. At some point, I'll probably be putting together a list of um, of ACs. Probably put that up on whatever communities would look at it. See if anyone wants to set up some matchups, so I can see who's actually unwanted on the list and take them off. We've got 190 ACs. Probably seen more Oracle than anyone else. <laughs> Actually, that's not a question. Like, every other thing is Oracle plus somebody. Although, you know, I've never specifically gotten the uh, Last Raven one. This is uh, the first request for that. Uh, there's been a lot of um, Nexus. Ooh. Okay. He just got that slash in. There's a He's got very good odds now. Like, as soon as he gets one cut in, the fight's decided in his favor most times. Um, let's see if she gets close and finishes this. Oddly enough, between her weapons, her Silky ends up doing the most damage to him. And uh, combined with the Gatling gun, it just tears through his uh, radiator. Although, to actually get an effective overheat, she needs to fire a swarm and then go up and do a little burst on him. So we'll switch it to uh, AP only again, to get a better view of the fight. And these are the other camera angles, by the way. They're really hard to tell what's going on. Oh, okay, never mind. He's actually going to get another one. Huh, alright. I'm honestly surprised. That one little radiator change is making him awesome. Okay. Do this again. And then out of curiosity, I'm gonna probably pit the uh, two oracles against each other. With the Nexus version and the uh, Last Raven version. There we go. Let's have a fight on top of a hill. The usual, there can only be one map. I don't know what it is. There's something weirdly aesthetically pleasing slash dorky about the fact that he has pink detail colors on that AC. Okay, this seems to be more at some shtick for sure. Come on, use all those guns. Go ahead and get that one. That's a little funny. They have all these uh, all these ACs that made it from Nexus to LR. Almost none of them use the same voice actors or anything really. They're just sort of the same in name and general aesthetic. I 
kind of seems like the general theme, like, other than uh, Molly Coddle, who I guess didn't get the message, which I guess makes sense because it's technically not Kenobi, but everybody else improves their ACs quite a bit. Mostly to be towards the cheap end. Alright, come on, Etsum. Oh, right, uh, so Etsum's uh, boosters, that's what I changed. So, uh, she's using the Vulture 3s. It's uh, basically just an updated version for Formula Friend only, just to somewhat match her uh, general mobility in Nine Breaker. So he switched his mobile mode. Oh no, 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 what are you doing? Good lock on. Whoa. Holy crap, that was close. Okay, so she wins it by 59 AP. Alright, final round. Man. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Okay, so uh, just um, kind of a heads up here. In case it ends up rolling the uh, furnace map, I'm probably just going to end up re uh, redoing it. Uh, the furnace map is just a complete crock of bull, frankly. Um, it for some reason they decided to throw in a map that's entirely about ECM interference, but thankfully didn't get it this time. Like if everybody's got radars, I would allow it. But if only one's got a radar, then it's just flat out cheating for one of them. Okay, so now with this, I'm pretty sure it has to go to Etsum. Because this is like, this is a close arena, this is absolutely her deal right here. She's got the defense to tank that rifle, uh, she's not even worried about cooling. And by the way, um, I can only pull up the, uh, the energy and radiator readings for one of them. Uh, it just shows whoever's on the top left. That's just another weird limitation to form the front. Personally, like if they made something that was along the lines of Last Raven with an AI arena, I would love to work with that. But, you know, this thing's got a lot of quirky limitations. They can make teams of five, they can't use repeating parts other than their optionals for some reason. It almost feels like they were planning to set up team battles at some point, but then just didn't. Oh crap. Alright, another really close one, but there we go. Goes to the Proto Exus. So, um, yeah, let me know if you have any other requests and, um, be good going to add some, I suppose. Oh, wait, right, I was actually supposed to uh, do this real quick. I wanted to see these, uh, these two fight it out. So, we've got the old uh, Nexus version of the Oracle. In this case, he has his grenade launcher replaced, or linear cannon rather, replaced with a radar. And then he's still got his missiles. Uh, by and large, he is just as deadly with it, because again, he couldn't really use his linear cannon. I tried a lot of different configurations to make him use it. They're not big fans of it. But he's still super deadly, so. We'll say this version, way faster. I'm pretty certain this is going to end up going to Last Raven here. Alright, Nexus, what have you got? I mean, Nexus has the uh, energy weapon edge right now. Uh, again, just due to the fact that he can't actually use that uh, Garion. Now, let's see, yeah, top left is still the um, Last Raven Oracle. Yeah, he's winning it so far. He just seems to have much higher defense, that's why. What are we doing with these hops here? What's that all about? I think he actually overheated the Nexus version, which uh, hasn't happened that often. He's just limping along, trying to get some shots in. Oh, crap. I tried to get that slash in, but just missed. Let's we'll see how Mr. Hyper Aggressive over here is doing. Oh, okay, never mind. He just got slashed. Yeah, those uh, aerial slashes are super quick. Oh, crap! He is... Oh, man, if he gets another one and finishes him, I'll be impressed. Come on, do it! Come on, Nexus version, you're way cooler. Do it! Come on! I believe in you! Be the dominant on. Well, oh well. 
had lock on speed and general uh general just shot speed of that friggin' uh friggin' linear rifle, there was no chance for him to dodge it. Oh well, so there you go. Um and yeah, let me know if you have any requests.